Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and the other day I told you that Apple now allows you to access and delete all of your information that you have stored with them on iCloud and your accounts. And that includes iTunes and everything else, and the way you can do that is pretty straightforward, but you can't do it from an iPhone. So if you go on your browser to privacy.apple.com on an iPhone, this is what you'll get. It says the browser's not supported, use a Mac, a PC, or an iPad with mobile Safari. So I have my iPad here and I went to that website and I signed in. Now, once you sign in, this is what you'll get. So it'll say manage your data, correct your data or delete your account. Now, depending where you live, this may vary. And this is mostly to comply with the GPDR or GDPR rather in the European Union. And what that means is that the data is yours and it's yours alone. And that means that if a company is storing it, such as Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, that company must be able to, or must allow you to fully delete your account and all of the data that they have. That way only you have access to your data. So this is to comply with that. It's a little bit different depending on where you live. So for example, if I want to correct my data, I can do that. But to correct my data just brings me to my Apple account page. However, if you want to fully delete your account, you can do that and you click on get started or tap on get started. And it tells you what will happen when your account is deleted. So things such as you not be able to access your iTunes, iBooks, app stores, purchases, photos, videos, documents, everything will be deleted. So any, history or anything you've done will be deleted and there's an FAQ here if you have any other questions. Now before deleting your account it says make a local copy or backup of your data and you can also get a copy of your data from this site. Sign out of all of your devices and web browsers, browsers review your active subscriptions. So if you want to get a copy of your data you go to this site and you actually have to sign a form to do this. Now this may vary depending on where you live but I'm in the United States and if I select that, I have to fill out this form in order to get my information. I filled out the form and hit submit and it says, thank you for taking the time to contact us. We greatly appreciate your comments and we'll respond to them as soon as we can. And I just asked them to see my data. Now, if we go back here, if you really want to delete your account and everything in it, you just select a reason. It says, I want to stop using it. I think my account could be compromised. I prefer not to say and other, and you can specify select one, hit continue, and you can move on to do all of that. So that's how you would get rid of your data and Apple shouldn't have any of it. If you want to do that, Google and Facebook and others are supposed to comply as well and allow you to do the same thing. So I'd be curious to know what you think about it though. Do you think that's a great idea? I think it's pretty good to know what they have of mine, but I would like to know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.